Hi, my name is Ram and welcome to uploading files with Vue.js and Express Series. In this last episode, we're going to upload our images to the Amazon S3 storage cloud service. Before we begin, just a quick note that if you don't want to wait for another episode to be published, you can go to the gsfullstack.com and purchase the series as pay what you want model as a way to support my work in this channel. Thanks. The process that we're going to implement is very simple. First, we catch the file with Malta and upload it and save it in the file system of our server. Then we'll use Sharp to resize this image and then we'll upload this image to the Amazon. And after that, we'll just delete the original image from the file system. Easy peasy, so let's get down to it. Okay, so here I am in my Amazon account on S3 and I have here that I have the bucket test in Ramchi. So this is the first thing that you wanna do. You want to create a new bucket. It's a very simple process, just have the unique fun name for it. And that's basically it. And when you're done, you need to acquire your API keys. And for that, go to your profile here and you can see my security credentials. It will ask you, I just uh, hit the continue with security and here in access keys, just unfold it and here you can create new access key. I have one that I created recently here and I will use it. And after I finish with this video, I will delete it. So you will see all, all of this stuff. So when you create it, you will have the access key as well as the private secret part of it. So I saved it and I will use it in the code. Okay, after we've done with that, we can continue with the actual code. So first let's go back to terminal actually, and let's yarn add aws-sdk. That's the library that we're gonna use to push our files to the S3 storage. Great, so now let's go to the server and here in the drop zone API endpoint, we're going to push file into the um, S3 storage. So first of all, here at the top, let's import AWS from AWS-SDK. And after that, we need to configure our access keys. There are several ways to do that. We will do it right here in the file. We'll just define aws.config.update and we set our access key ID and secret access key. And I will just copy and paste them here. That's my access and this is my secret. So now after that, I can connect to the uh, AWS and use the API. So let's go back to drop zone and here at the top, let's define our S3 instance. So there's gonna be new AWS dot S3. So now we get in the file, we upload in it, and then we process in it. But instead of saving it to file, we're gonna just save it to buffer. In other words, we'll have our image in memory. And to save it somewhere, we'll define constant buffer equals the result of this await sharp operation. So after that, we can use our S3. So we'll define S3 response object and we await for S3. And on S3, there is a method called upload, <laughs> very uh, simple one. And all we need to provide is the bucket name. In my case, that's testing Ramchain. Then we need to have the key and the key is basically the file name. And we'll have the request file original name. And you know what, to, to make it unique, let's also have the now here. And the now will be just the current timestamp or date. So let's define now as the um, date dot now like this. Okay, so we have bucket, we have key, and then we have body. And body is just the actual file content. In our case, that's buffer. And after that also, we need to provide the ACL, that's access list. 
and we want to make it the public read. So there's the permissions that we want to grant to this file. If we do not specify ACL, it will not be available publicly, only privately, so we will not be able to access this image in our application. And after that, I need to hit the promise. So dot promise. And that's pretty much it. So after that, we have in this response, because we use the upload method, in this response, we have location. So here, instead of this thing, we're going to return s3 response dot location. And that should be enough. So what, what we're doing here, we're setting up the AWS uh, keys, and then we initialize the instance, we process image into the buffer, and then we upload to our bucket the file with the file name that we provide here with the body of the buffer itself and with the public access. So let's have a look. Let's go to our application. I'm going to reload it. And here, let's upload image. And here we go. But now, as you can see, if we go to the inspect here, you see that it's actually Amazon AWS. So we host in this image in Amazon. Nice. And that's it. Congratulations, we've done it. We learned how to upload files from client to server. And we used Vue.js and Express, but it can be done with any kind of technology, with React on the client side, for example, and Rails or Lar Laravel on the back end. So on the client, you need to make sure that you're making the multi-part form data request. And on the server, you need to you know, use any kind of middleware that handles this kind of request. And after that, you will have the file that you can manipulate any way you like. So thank you very much for your time and happy uploading. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get notified every time when I upload new content, hit the bell icon as well. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron on the Patreon or just go to the gsfullstacker.com and purchase one of my series that I publish there. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next one.